Greetings everyone and welcome. This is Neo and you are watching Fintech. If you enjoy our content, please do not forget to leave a like. You can subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be informed about our later videos. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Before we start our video, let's hear our legal disclaimer. None of the information given in this video should be taken as financial advice. Please make your investments according to your own research. Today, I return with a project that I have mentioned several times before, and I'm proud to say that they are doing great, especially in these bad market conditions. Since we have last talked about it, Iskra has made some serious enhancements and upgrades to their platform. These include Iskra's governance token, governance staking, their new lucky spin prizes, along with their mission cards. All in all, these updates bring Iskra more fun, engagement and utility, which we will talk about in this video. If you don't know about Iskra, you can watch our former two videos to learn more about them. The links will be in the description. For those who will skip those two videos, let me summarize the key points of Iskra. Their first aim is to deliver a blockchain experience which will make you forget that you are on the chain and you will experience the benefits of being on the chain and the fun of being on the chain as if you are using a casual platform. So, of course, they will have many features for you to use and have fun, as Iskra is also a next-gen Web3 gaming platform. Apart from this, Iskra also shines with their unique approach to the blockchain ecosystem. They believe in a fully self-sustained ecosystem, which will return all the fees to the participants back again, and thus they achieve to share everything among players, game studios, and the platform itself. In the former videos, I have also talked about their CP system, which is contribution points, and this will reward users in a very beneficial way. You can watch these videos to learn more about it. Contributions and actions made by community members, studios, players and the platform itself actually are measured by contribution points with rewards distributed based on the CP ranking of this. So let's talk about what's new and we should start with the governance token which has gathered lots of attention from mass media as well as community. Market Insider included Iskra on their top 3 most promising crypto and they stated that Iskra is a gaming platform that aims to bring many Web3 games into this ecosystem. Think of Steam or Epic Games Store but for blockchain based games. This unique idea has the potential to turn into something big. Iskra token was launched on September on Gate.io and Classwap but it has changed recently. ISK is no longer available on Classpub, but they have partnered with Pangeaswap. Users can now purchase ISK on Pangeaswap and Clayton Chain. Also, the strong community of Iskra had some requests and Iskra team has managed to bring them alive. Community wanted Iskra to be more easily accessible, so they have brought Iskra in Uniswap on Ethereum Chain. The Iskra team also understands very well the critical role of the community in the development of the ecosystem and the project in general. So they have included community into their tokenomics to provide users the ability to direct project's course through involvement in its governance. Now, ISK owners could stake ISK to get SISK, which is staked ISK. Governance rights, contribution points and ISK awards will all be given to ISK governance stakeholders. The Iskra governance system enables users to have a say in the future of Web3 gaming. So, in terms of staking, there are two things you should keep in mind, periods and participants. The staking period of Iskra governance staking is flexible, which means you can stake and unstake at any time. However, your staking reward will be subject to factors such as the length of the time you've staked and ongoing exchange rate at the time you unstaked. Also, there are no restrictions as to how many users can participate in the Iskra governance staking. However, the minimum amount that can be staked is set as 1 ISK, while the maximum is set at 1 billion ISK. There is a very detailed staking guide which shows you all the steps and important things that you should know before staking and I found this very helpful. So, sure, Iskra is taking big steps in terms of the enhancements on their platform and their ecosystem, such as staking and governance, but we should not forget that they are also a next-gen Web3 gaming platform. 
They have announced some betas and new launches for the quarter that we are in and for the next ones. Three Kingdoms Multiverse, which I have told you about in the previous videos, will be launched in the next month and NFT presale has already begun. These NFTs will only be available for a limited amount of time and given that Three Kingdoms Multiverse is one of the most popular and first launched games on their platform, I don't expect them to stick around for so long. Also, a totally new game, Clashmon Ignition is targeted for the second quarter of this year, along with Norma in Metaland Cooking Adventure. It has been rumored that more games will be coming to the Iskra platform and they will announce them in the next couple of months. Also, to give the platform more ignition and fun, while you are waiting for your favorite games to drop, they have included some things that you can do inside the platform. Iskra users can now participate in Data Lucky Spin and Mission Card quests for free. Users can do the Data Lucky Spin once a day to win ISK, contribution points and everyday mission card rewards. Once a user completes the mission card set with Iskra Joker card, they can redeem it for a Three Kingdom Multiverse Mr. Box NFT plus 3KM game tokens, which is very nice. Mission cards are basically prizes that you can win from the Daily Luck Spin and each one is a part of a set. Complete a set and you're on your way to winning even cooler prizes such as NFT from a game such as Three Kingdoms Multiverse and they will be releasing other games and other tokens so you can win them by Daily Luck Spin as well. The first mission cards, as I have said, will be on the Three Kingdoms Multiverse and if you have an eye on the game, this is a great opportunity. Round 1 will be finished on the 28th of February and the second round will be on March. Iskra plans to have exclusive events for games and more using the Data Lucky Spin to give the rewards back to the users as their aim. So, you can spin the wheel for free, join the community and have fun with Iskra. So, as you can see on this tweet, Iskra has been doing great in these market conditions and recently Iskra was added to Depp Radar and made it into top 25 ranking for the overall category and top 10 in games category, beating out Axiac without having launched their games yet. The team is very proud to present such an opportunity for the community and community is very happy as well. Plus, more CEX listings, community voting systems and more games will be here in no time. To sum up, Iskra is a very exciting project that is doing really well in these bear market conditions. The team is working to bring even more excitement to the project as you can see with their data like spin, cards and new games. If you are also interested in ISK, you can directly sign up to the website or you can buy some ISK in various platforms. That's all for today's video. We will continue to bring you the latest news and promising projects. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching Fintech. Until next time.